Hi guys, I'm so excited to talk about how to blog legally. This is a video lesson that's going to walk you through everything you need to know about blogging legally and the three legal mistakes to avoid at all times. So let's get started. In the next 30 minutes or so, you will learn how to legally protect your blog so that you can focus on the fun parts of blogging and finally get that peace of mind that you deserve. This is a video lesson for you if you're wondering what legal pages you must have on your blog to comply with the laws. It's also the lesson for you if you're confused and frustrated with trying to figure out all the legal stuff and you have no idea how to write the legal pages. It's for you if you want to make sure your blog is legal and you want to avoid costly legal mistakes, audits, fines by the Federal Trade Commission because failure to have a privacy policy on your website results in lawsuits. And here are some examples that I have shared with you too. If you click on this link, it will take you to the Federal Trade Commission's website and it will show you the different kinds of lawsuits people have faced for failure to have a proper privacy policy on their blog or website. So who am I and why should you listen to me? My name is Amira Irfan and I'm a business lawyer, blogger, and coach from Florida. Just like you, I am a Create and Go student. You may have seen my guest post for Create and Go right here. And in two years, um, I took my blog from making zero to $78,000 a month. I started my blog while working full time as a lawyer and I grew it to uh, an email list of more than 50,000 subscribers, 30,000 combined social media followers, having my own Facebook group of thousands of bloggers and entrepreneurs, and now making seven figures through blogging. I share this information with you because I was sitting in the exact same shoes as you a couple years ago, and if I can do it, you can totally do it. So I started my journey with purchasing Create and Go's Pro Blogger Bundle, and I never looked back. I've been featured in more than um, 200 media outlets. If you click here, it will take you to my website where you can check out all the places that I have been um, featured. And you can learn more about me on the about page here and also how to work with me one on one. Um, besides legal templates, um, I also offer coaching services and tons of other um, legal you know, tips and uh, anything that I can help you with. So take a look at some of those services right here on the work with me page um, so that we can work together now. Also, um, I've had the honor of helping over 30,000 entrepreneurs legally protect their businesses with my affordable legal templates and services that I just showed you. And I'm very, very passionate about working with entrepreneurs because unfortunately, my dad's business got sued for $90,000 before I became a lawyer. So I know what it feels like, the devastation that we faced as a family. And let's face it, lawsuits are expensive and they're very long. So I want to make sure that nobody else that I ever work with ever faces that kind of legal issue. And that's why I've been able to maintain more than hundreds of five-star reviews. If you click here, it'll take you to my um, testimonials page and my Facebook page and you will see tons and tons and tons of uh, reviews and love notes which I'm so grateful for so all of this most importantly has allowed me to uh, quit my nine-to-five job and become a full-time blogger and entrepreneur if you had asked me a few years ago, Amira, that you would be sitting where, you know, where you would just quit your job, I would just say you're crazy. You know, I would have never, ever imagined that. Yes, I had the dream of having that freedom and being my own boss, you know, working for myself. And I love working as a lawyer, unlike most unhappy lawyers out there. I am not one of them. You know, I'm still working as a lawyer for myself now, but, you know, the, what I want to tell you is that the possibilities are endless if you don't give up and if you really follow the tips and strategies um, in the Create and Go course and if you just like ride through the tough times because there will be times that you're going to question. You know, trust me, I questioned many, many times that why am I blogging? You know, when I was making already six figures as a lawyer, I was like asking myself that why am I struggling or why am I working so hard? But, you know, just keep at it and you will you will succeed. And if you need any help, I also will love to coach you on how to do that to uh, make sure that you're also hitting your goals and making sure that your blog is legal. So let's see, what will you learn today? 
the three big legal mistakes to avoid as a blogger. We're going to go over what's a privacy policy, what's a disclaimer, what are terms and conditions. Um, I'm also going to cover four legal misconceptions about blogging because these are things that I've noticed. You know, I've been working as a lawyer for more than 10 years and I have come across a lot of misconceptions, a lot of mistakes that bloggers, entrepreneurs make, right? So we're going to cover some of those so you can avoid them. The six reasons why you need proper legal pages on your blog the five essential legal contracts bloggers need. Yes, there are legal contracts that you need in addition to legal pages. And then also how to cover all of that and how to create the legal pages for your blog so that you can have the complete protection and peace of mind. So why is all of this really important now? Well, because according to a recent business administration survey, guys, 53% of business owners face a lawsuit every year. That's a big number, isn't it? Even my own dad's business was sued for $90,000 for failing to use a legal contract with the person he had hired. So a lot of these lawsuits are originating from legal mistakes that entrepreneurs are making. When my dad hired this freelancer to help him out with his business, he didn't bother using a contract. He didn't, he just trusted the person and next thing you know, we got sued for $90,000. And then in the last 10 years working as a lawyer, I've seen hundreds and thousands of lawsuits like these where people are getting into legal trouble for not using proper legal pages on their websites to people not using the legal contracts while working with others, but you just want to be smarter right and before we get into the lesson I just want to give a legal disclaimer that I am a lawyer by profession but I'm not your lawyer um, this lesson is really for informational and educational purposes only and it doesn't constitute legal advice I'm going to discuss the importance of legal disclaimers in a little bit so that you understand that why even you need to give disclaimers on your blog so let's talk about the three legal mistakes bloggers make and how to avoid them. The mistake number one is not having a privacy policy on your blog. A privacy policy is a legal page on your website that informs the visitors what information you're collecting from them and how you're going to use it. So think about it. Let's say I come to your website, um, I give you my credit card information or I give you my email address because I want to get like a freebie from you. Now I have just given you personal information that identifies me, whether it's my name, whether it's my email address, whether it's my credit card information, I have the legal right to know what are you going to do with this information and in what circumstances you're going to disclose to third parties. For example, there could be a litigation or, you know, some sort of a event where you will have to disclose. So you need to make sure that you put all of that information in the privacy policy so that your readers and your customers are fully informed about important things like these. Now, there are many privacy laws that you have to comply with. You may have already heard about General Data Protection Regulation, which is also known as GDPR. It's one of the toughest privacy laws out there in the world. It applies to you no matter where you reside. Some people think that, oh, if I'm in the EU, that's only when I have to comply with GDPR. Not true. You have to comply with it no matter where you are, whether you're in the U.S., outside the U.S., um, because there's serious fines and penalties for non-compliance. Fines up to $20 million or 4% of your revenue. And if you take a look at this website, it talks all about GDPR fines and breach penalties, and you can take a look at it. Um, I provided the link to you in my um, slide right here. You're gonna get a, you're gonna get this um, you know PDF file as well, and you can easily click on these links to uh, visit the websites that I've linked to. Now let's talk about another uh, privacy law, which is California Consumer uh, Privacy Act, which is CCPA. It's a little bit of a newer law that came into effect uh, not too long ago, but it basically gives special rights to people visiting your website from California. And then if they're visiting your website, which let's face it, if you have a website, how are you going to prevent them, right? Like people are going to come to your website from all over the world. So you need to make sure that your privacy policy is also CCPA compliant because CCPA requires uh, certain information in your privacy policy, like legal rights that are given to California residents. And penalty for non-compliance is 2500 to 7500 per violation. And you can learn a lot more into about all of this stuff into this blog post that is on my website, which is about the three legal pages on your website. And if you go to the uh, blog page, 
you can go to the legal tips page right here and there are tons and tons of uh, blog posts here on different topics legal topics for bloggers and entrepreneurs and you could take a look at it and uh, learn more okay and then let's talk about the next legal mistake so the next big legal mistake is not having a blog disclaimer remember my legal disclaimer when i started this lesson so the purpose of a disclaimer is basically to protect you from legal liability and lawsuits so disclaimer just like the way it sounds disclaim liability so this is a legal page that you need on your blog to limit your legal liability for the content that you publish on your website so it informs your readers that the information on your website is strictly for information educational purposes that people shouldn't rely on it and take it as advice because what happens is when you do not have a disclaimer it can lead to lawsuits when somebody uses the information on your website and let's say they suffer a negative outcome you know this could be a recommendation that you made for an affiliate product um, it could be a recommendation that you made for your own product or any other advice that you gave on a sensitive subject for example something related to medical or health or finances right and let's say you gave you're a nurse and you're making some medical recommendations but you're not a doctor right but someone can take that information and suffer a negative consequence and then come after you for damages and trust me this happens so that's why you must have seen disclaimers all over right like you I, i'm sure that it's not the first time that you're hearing about a disclaimer you may have seen it on websites um you know and this is just one way that you limit your legal liability and the other thing to note about disclaimers is that you have to tailor them to your niche so if you're in the personal finance field you're obviously going to have a disclaimer that speaks to that i'm in the legal field right so i have a legal disclaimer or if you don't have a niche then you'll have a general disclaimer but you're going to need a disclaimer to kind of speak to what you're writing about so that people are clear about you know the information on your website and they're not taking it seriously and then they can't come after you for legal damages and then your disclaimer also needs to comply with federal trade commission rules and include affiliate disclosures now disclosures and disclaimers are two different things i know people confuse them but a disclosure is just like the way it sounds you're disclosing that you have a relationship for example let's say i am an affiliate for create and go i have to give a legal disclosure on my blog post if i'm going to share affiliate links for create and go's product so that's what an affiliate disclosure looks like that's what it means basically you're supposed to give that under the federal trade commission rules it's legally required and i go over all of that into this blog post and don't worry um like i just said if you just go to the legal tips page here you will see all of these blog posts but i just explain a lot more in detail um, in this blog post about blog disclosures blog disclaimers i even give you some examples and you can use my template as well if you need to so now let's talk about the third legal mistake the third legal mistake is not having terms and conditions on your blog so terms and conditions are basically think of them as a legal contract between you and your visitors your customers your readers um, they're basically your website rules what you allow and what you don't allow on your blog you may have heard of them as terms of use, terms of service, terms of purchase. So they're all different names used to refer to the same thing. They also are very important to protect your intellectual, intellectual property from being stolen. This is where basically you include things like your governing provisions, um, how you want people to use your products, whether it's a free product or a paid product or anything else you want to make sure that people are not stealing, right? So you need to have clear terms and conditions where you're including all these important things. You're also going to want to make sure that you put where you want lawsuits to be resolved if there's ever a dispute obviously if i'm living in florida i would want them to be resolved in florida but if you're living in europe you're living in china you're living in you know michigan wherever you are you're going to want to make sure that you clearly specify where disputes will be resolved and how they're going to be resolved right so um so this is a really important legal page that goes in the footer section of your website and that outlines your 
you know, obviously your governing law provisions, but also like if you sell any products or something, then you also need to put your refund exchange policies, right? So this way, tomorrow you avoid disputes with your customers. Um, because without the terms and conditions on your website, you have no legal recourse if there's a dispute between you and your customer or even your reader over something. So you're totally out of luck. So do not forget to include them on your blog. And again, I have a dedicated blog post on this particular top subject as well, how to write your terms and conditions. And if you ever wanted to learn more, you can totally learn more here. But in a nutshell, I already explained the purpose and why they are so important. Now, moving on, let's talk about the six big reasons why you need legal pages on your blog. So the first reason is self-explanatory, like avoid lawsuits, right? Why do we do, why do we comply with the legal stuff? Why do we do all this stuff? Obviously to safeguard ourselves, right? To safeguard our family, our business, our hard work, because when you get sued, again, speaking from personal experience, it's a nightmare that you and your entire family goes through, right? We all suffer. It's not just one person. So that's why you want to make sure that you're doing things right from the get-go, from the very beginning, before you launch your blog, you want to make sure you have these legal pages to kind of cover yourself and to avoid any kind of legal disputes and lawsuits. The second thing is obviously to comply with the laws there I we just discussed some privacy laws uh, federal trade commission rules and then there are other rules as well that you have to like children's privacy and all of those things you want to make sure that you're complying and then also legal pages are required when you're going to want to monetize your blog through ad networks um, you know or some affiliate programs even so some of those high uh, you know high fi affiliate programs they want to make sure that your blog looks legal right? So they're going to check your blog before they approve you to make sure that you've got all your legal ducks in the row, like you got everything all done correctly. And that's why it's also important. And then the other thing which is very important is your intellectual property. Intellectual property is the content that you're creating, right? You're spending hours and days. I mean, I know like it takes me like six hours to write a blog post, but if you're spending that much time and effort into something, you've got to protect it, right? You want to make sure that you've given notice to people that, hey, this stuff is your content that they cannot copy, they cannot steal. So that's where the intellectual property comes in and there are copyright laws and all of those things to protect you. But without giving that notice, again, you're out of luck. So you need to have all of this nicely defined and clearly specified into your legal pages. And then also your website rules. So as we talked about, that's where terms and conditions comes in, come in, right? Like they're going to let your readers or let your visitors, your customers know what are the rules associated with your website or for example, your course or your product. And then disclose your affiliate relationships, not just your affiliate relationships, but also like your sponsorships, right? So as you start to make money from blogging and you may have seen that in the course, there's so many different ways to make money blogging, right? Like there's sponsored content, there's affiliate marketing, there's creating your own products, there's ads, all of those fun, fun ways that you are making money, but you want to, again, there are all these rules associated with everything. So affiliate marketing, you have to comply with Federal Trade Commission rules of giving the disclosure. Same way, let's say tomorrow a brand works with you and they want to pay you to write a blog post or they want to pay you to post on Instagram or create a YouTube video. You're going to now have to give a legal disclosure that says, hey, this content was sponsored meaning I was paid for it. Even though these are my viewpoints, these are my personal opinion, my honest feedback, but I was still compensated for it. So your consumers have the right to know that. So all of that is again, legal requirements under the Federal Trade Commission, which you need to give in your legal pages as well. So, and last but not least, but honestly really important is to look like a professional because I am sure that you started this blog as a business, right? Like you probably just have big dreams just like I did. And you want to just make sure that you're treating it like a business from day one, because legal is that glue that keeps your business together. If your foundation is weak, it's gonna, the business is gonna crumble, right? So you wanna make sure that you're keeping it safe, you're keeping it protected, and also looking like a professional. 
Now let's talk about some vlogging legal misconceptions because these are some of the things that I, as I mentioned, I've noticed over the years and I hope you're not one of them. First misconception is I'm not making any money from my blog, so I don't need legal pages, right? Wrong. You need a privacy policy on your website before you launch your blog. It's required by law. I didn't make the rules up. I mean, here are the Federal Trade Commission rules. You can take a look at them, but at the very bare minimum, you need a privacy policy on your website. And even if you're not collecting people's emails, you are still collecting some data through Google Analytics. Just the fact that people are visiting on your site, cookie policy, all of that. So you need to have a privacy policy on your website. And again, these are all the different cases. Feel free to go through them, you know, blog posts and tons of information directly on the from the Federal Trade Commission's website and how they have pursued legal action for people um, for people's failure to comply with that legal requirement. OK. So the next thing is, let's talk about the second misconception. I am a small fish, so who's going to sue me? Well, let me break it to you. When my dad's business got sued, he was only in his second year of business. So not only that he was sued personally, putting all of our personal assets at risk, but also his business, right? So both parties were sued. And the legal battle lasted an entire year, leaving us financially and emotionally devastated and broke, broken. Because I'm, I'm not kidding you, we had to start from all over again. Because a lot of money was spent, you know, for lawyers, a lot of time was wasted. And even the last lawsuit that I just helped a client settle was for, five, for half a million dollars, where her intellectual property was compromised and we had to sue the infringer. So this is not like some small stuff, right? You think you're a small fish, but remember lawsuits come in all shapes and sizes, right? And if someone's gonna take legal action, they're not gonna think that you're small or you're big, they're just gonna take legal action, right? And then another client of mine recently, she lost $8,000 because she made the legal mistake of copying someone else's content and using their photos without permission. So that's another big no-no. You never want to just take someone's photo and just post it on your blog or on your website and think that's okay. It's never okay because again, as I mentioned about that intellectual property copyright law, under that law, anything that, for example, you create or I create, it's ours automatically from the time we create it. So it, you don't even need to officially register to have copyright claim. So never ever copy other people's content, legal pages, photos, or anything. Another client, they lost $5,000 because she didn't have a refund or exchange policy posted on her website resulting in a legal dispute with a customer. So not only her reputation got tarnished, she lost the money, she lost the customer, but think about it, how, how annoying is that? So you don't want to make those kinds of mistakes. That's why terms and conditions are essential. And then we also have another lawsuit of, from Dolce Gabbana suing two bloggers, bloggers, okay guys, for $600 million here. So again, you know, it, it, they were two fashion bloggers, they were sued for defamation. Defamation is when you're publishing about other people's stuff, um, about writing about other people and it's not true and it can re obviously result in damages or tarnishing that per, uh, brand's reputation and things like that. So you always wanna be careful about what you're writing. That's where the disclaimers come in, right? So um, yeah, so that's another lawsuit. So don't ever think that, oh, I'm just a small fish who's gonna sue me, I am okay. No, there, these are all real examples and I have tons and tons and tons of more, more. But obviously, um, in in the light of time, I want I just wanted to give you some examples to let you know that hey, it's a mistake to think that I'm just a small fish. No one's gonna come after me. Mistake number three, I can just copy other people's legal pages, right? No, never ever do that. This is another big legal mistake, and you will get sued for copyright infringement. That remember the half a million dollar case that I just talked about. Well, I was referring to exactly this. 
this is this is what happened in that case someone had copied her stuff and we ended up suing and then in the end settling for half a million dollars so make sure that you never ever copy anyone's material whether it's their blog post whether it's their photos whether it's their videos whatever right if it's not yours you don't have the legal right to use it always always seek permission um and with the exception, with some exceptions, like if you're just linking to them, that's a different story. But if you're just taking someone's information and just posting on your website and claiming it as yours, that's clear copying. You know what I mean? So you cannot copy anyone's legal pages or anything without permission. Under copyright law, people get automatic protection for their content. Your work is protected the moment that it's created. The moment I publish the blog post, it's mine. I got copyright protection. The moment I post a photo on my blog, it's mine. I got copyright protection. So copyright law safeguards your work as the original creator by preventing others from stealing or copying it. And it protects tangible work like images, blog posts, art, songs, movies, computer softwares, and others. And I have a blog post about um, you know stolen content, what to do, and copyright law in general. You can learn more about that in this blog post. Again, and all of this is under the legal tips page um, and then under the blog you can see different categories and you just click on one of them and you will see the different uh, blog posts and I've also linked to that blog post in um, in here and you'll get a copy of this so you can go through it so uh, mistake number four or legal conception number four I'll just grab a free legal template from online and post it on my blog and think that's enough to legally protect me another big legal mistake here's why so the thing with free legal templates is that they're free for a reason okay they're never ever legally sufficient to hold up in court and they're never ever legally sufficient to include everything that you must have in your legal pages to fully protect your business so number one you have no idea who wrote the legal template right if it's even reputable if it can be trusted number two as i just mentioned they're always missing key legal provisions exposing you to risk and liability i have been auditing you know legal documents and including free legal templates for over 10 years and trust me there's not a single one that i've come across and i've said oh yes this is great let's use this no um, there's always something missing in them even some of the websites that i've gone to and I'll share this blog post with you where I will share my results, my audit results. And I have shown you like how, even though they're claiming this is a free privacy policy or free something, and there's always something missing in them. Either the GDPR compliance is missing or the CCPA compliance is missing or a cookie policy is missing. Something crucial is always missing. And then when you want to add all of those things, it's no longer free. So it defeats the whole purpose in the in the first place. And it's going to cost you a lot more in the long run when you get into legal trouble and you have to hire a lawyer to clean up the mess. Because at that point, whoever lawyer that you go with is going to look at you and be like, why did you trust a free legal template to protect your hard work and your business? And also the free legal templates are never up to date with the recent laws and you don't get those upgrades either, right? So laws are always changing. And here's why 50 some, I interview like 50 of my customers who are like bloggers and entrepreneurs. And I asked them that, hey, why do you not trust the free legal templates? And so take a look at this blog post where, you know, they go through their different reasons for why they don't trust the free legal templates. And you can go through six, seven different reasons. And it will be, I think, a fun read for you to see why legal templates, free legal templates are never ever enough to cover you legally. So, um, and here, let's take a look at uh, some of my actual customer reviews. So after reviewing free legal templates versus the one I bought from Amira, it was obvious that there's an entire world of difference. So we have Sarah here, you know, she never felt like she was 100% covered. So she wanted lawyer approved legal pages. So she ended up purchasing my legal templates. And I love what Heather says. Heather says that, you know, um, free legal templates to her feel like as safe as a tissue paper parachute. Isn't that hilarious but it's so true and then Krista you know she actually reviewed the free legal templates that she had versus the one that she bought from me and she wrote that it's obvious that there's an entire world of difference and then Danielle right she's also a create and go student a lot of 
a lot of these people are your basically our fellow bloggers and same thing she says that you put yourself at risk and you're better off for uh, protecting your business through professional legal templates because free ones are never ever worth it and so now let's talk about briefly five essential legal contracts bloggers need so there are at least five legal contracts that you're going to need depending on different stages of your blogging journey okay so first one is a guest blogger agreement and i'm going to briefly walk you through what it is and then a sponsor post contract freelance contract confidentiality agreement which is also known as a non-disclosure agreement nda and a media release agreement so i'm going to walk you through all of these in a little bit when i go through um, the next steps but i just want you to remember that there are at least five essential legal contracts that bloggers need okay but is it possible to get done with all three legal pages on your blog in the next 15 minutes without pulling your hair or spending thousands of dollars hiring a lawyer and still get lawyer level protection yes it is and you're I think most of you guys know Kathy, right? She's our moderator in the Crate and Go group. So Kathy says, I can't believe that I waited so long to purchase Amira's legal bundle. And she also did a side-by-side -side comparison uh, between the low-end low competitor legal pages that she'd purchased with mine. And she says there's a huge difference. You know, obviously my product is way more superior because again, you're getting the lawyer level of protection. So now I just want to quickly walk you through, you know, like why, what are those five essential contracts that you absolutely need? So let's go through them. Okay. I'm just going to cross all of these because we have covered everything here. So if you want to protect your online business, your blogging business um, in the next 15 to 30 minutes, then take a look at my legal bundles because this is the easiest way to sleep peacefully at night. You prevent wasting so much time and, and you won't break your wallet because I have priced them to be really, really affordable. So if you're wondering like, okay, how do I get those three legal pages done for my blog? I have got the bundle that takes care of it for you. If you're wondering, okay, well, what legal contract do I need? You know, when I want to use someone's name or I don't want to violate copyright law, I got a template for that as well. And then, you know, if you're wondering about GDPR, CCPA, all of that is covered for you. So if you take a look at those five essential contracts that I talked about, so the first bundle, you have an option of three different bundles. You can get a starter legal bundle or a in the middle package, the premium legal bundle or the VIP bundle, which is obviously the best deal. So I'm going to walk you through, you know, these some of these essential legal templates, but the rest you can obviously look at it on your own um, by, you know, clicking on the link um, in the Create and Go course and going to the sales page. But I just wanna tell you that out of the VIP legal bundle, if all you did was use those five essential contracts that we just talked about, if that's all you did, you would get your money worth. I mean, it's that simple because purchasing all those five templates individually from my legal store, which you can, is going to cost you way more. But just getting the bundle is, is obviously the best deal. And then you can take a look at how the templates look from the inside. I've given you some snippets. They're very, very easy. You just fill in the blanks and you can start using the template. So now let's talk about those five contracts. The first one we saw was guest blogger agreement. So guest blogger agreement is when you're accepting guest posts on your blog, this is the agreement that you're going to use with your guest bloggers. So it covers your guest post guidelines. It prevents copyright violations because I am a blogger myself and I also accept guest posts on my blog. I have tons and tons of those. Um, this is the same exact agreement that I use with my guest bloggers to prevent copyright violations and to make sure that the content that I'm receiving is uh, I'm legally entitled to use it. Okay, so this is a template that literally is plug and play you can just you know once you get the template you just plug in the information as i have instructed and you can begin using it you don't even have to think about what guest post guidelines you need what legal terms you need to put in or how long the guest post should be all of that is taken care of for you because again i use this template for myself as well 
and it clearly identifies everything like your guidelines, your legal disputes, and um, gives you the legal right to use the guest bloggers content in your business marketing as you see fit. So this is one of the templates that you will need as a, in, a, in addition to the three legal pages, privacy policy terms and disclaimer. And you're also going to need what's called an independent contractor agreement. An independent contractor agreement is what's called a freelance contract, okay? So if you are a freelancer and you're offering any kind of services like graphic design, virtual assistant, you know, uh, website design, anything, you're going to need a contract to work with the clients, right? So this is the contract that you will use. Or let's say that you're the one hiring the virtual assistant. Like I've hired like seven different, you know, freelancers. Uh, I have a team now and there's so many different people that I've hired over the years. And this is exactly the same contract that I use to protect myself, to make sure that my intellectual property is safe, to make sure that we don't run into any kind of legal disputes and that I can terminate the agreement anytime without owing money and things like that. And then from a client, sorry, from a freelancer's perspective, you want to make sure that you get paid on time by the client, right? So all of that stuff, all those details are covered in this legal contract, which you will need because obviously right now you're starting your blog as a solo solopreneur, but eventually you are going to hire one or two people to help you, right? Otherwise you're just going to experience burnout like I did in my first year. So this is the template that you will use to hire people. And then the confidentiality agreement. This is the third really essential contract that bloggers need. Why? Because before disclosing or entering into any kind of collaborations, partnerships, joint ventures, or even the people that you hire, right? You want to make sure that you have a solid non-disclosure agreement, a confidentiality agreement in place to protect your business information. Because this has happened with clients of mine where they've hired people and then later on they had to, uh, that person that they hired, they basically stole that person, uh, my client's intellectual property and ended up becoming a competitor. So you want to avoid all of those ugly legal disputes and take a look at it right here, more about this NDA template right here on the page. And then let's talk about the um, other essential contracts. So we covered the freelance contract, we covered the guest blogger, I'm gonna cover the sponsor post and the media release agreement next. That why is it so important? So media release agreement. So media release agreement is basically a general media release that somebody gives you um, that allows you to use their name, their image, their photo, their testimonial, their video, any other anything else legally without owing them money or without violating their privacy rights or legal rights. So think about it like, you know, it could be a client testimonial that you want to use. It could be someone's podcast audio that you want to use in your business promotions. You know, it could be featuring a guest on your YouTube video a channel, or it could be someone's photo or video just in general that you want to post on your blog. So this is the media release that you're going to get from them. Just like how it sounds, it releases you from legal liability. And then if you, and also that you don't end up owing them money. So all of that is covered to basically make sure that you're legally using um, people's content. And then the sponsor post contract template. So let's talk about that one. Sponsorship or sponsor post contract template is basically, as I briefly discussed before, is when you have a company that pays you to create sponsored content. So I have been paid to write blog posts. I have been paid to uh, post on Instagram. And it's basically when you collaborate with brands and they start, and believe me, you don't need to be like a big shot to get those collaborations. You could even be a small fish. Like I remember that I was only in my first few months when I got my first sponsored gig. So it wasn't like, you know, it's just how you pitch and, and how you collaborate and what the brand is looking for. So, Whenever you're going to be in that situation where you're going to be working with other companies, you're going to want to make sure that you get paid on time. You want to make sure that everything is nicely, you know, put together in the legal contract. And that's where you're going to need this sponsor post contract template to collaborate. And then it also lists all the different things to uh, make sure that you're not, you know, that you're legally bind, that you're in a legal, legally binding contract and to make sure that you're protected. So that 
concludes basically the five essential legal contracts that you must have as a blogger, right? And then let's, let me ask you this. If there was a way to get your legal pages done for your business instantly and to have it ready for you in as little as 15 to 30 minutes, would you take it? Because what if I told you that it was really, really that easy and that simple to do? So take a look at Heather here, right? So she purchased my legal bundle right here. Um, and there, as I mentioned, that if you just took nothing but just five templates out of the VIP legal bundle, that would make it worthwhile. But if you want to look at, you know, the bonuses and some of these other templates, you can totally take a look at the massive value and compare the different bundles right here. There's the starter legal bundle that comes with the three legal pages. Then we have the premium bundle, which comes with the privacy policy disclaimer, terms and conditions, the sponsor post contract I talked about, the freelance contract, the guest blogger agreement, and then the VIP just comes with everything you can think of and tons and tons of bonuses because I truly believe in over delivering and giving you more than you expect. So you get tons and tons of bonuses. And so compare the bundles, take a look at them and get the one that you, that fits your need at this time. But like I mentioned, most people go with the premium or the VIP legal bundle because you know you're going to need these contracts and these templates down the road. So might as well save the money now instead of purchasing individually one by one from my legal store, which you can totally do that. Like if you go to the, um, legal store page you can get the in you know you click here to the individual templates and you can purchase everything individually but obviously bundles are um, discounted so you save more money and then we already talked about the legal bundles that i've created them i created them because i wanted to make sure that as a blogger you knew exactly what you were doing you were that you had the complete peace of mind and the security that you deserve and even if you're just a beginner or you're an experienced one i've helped you know all the different bloggers at different stages right not just the beginners but also experienced seasoned entrepreneurs um, who need more complex stuff um, I've helped them too. Again, there's that work with me page. And if you ever need something additional, you can always reach out. So we talked about the three different bundles. You have the option of a starter one, the VIP, the premium, the VIP is obviously the best seller because you save a lot of uh, money on this one. You save literally thousand dollars off right now. And then you have the premium. And I just want you to, I just want to highlight some of the experiences and what you can expect. So these are all like create and go students. Um, they have said that this was the best purchase that they made for their blog and thousands of create and go students have purchased my legal templates and they love them. So here's John's comment, Kaylee, Sam, Lauren, and I want you to feel the same benefits and I want you to feel that instant peace of mind and relief as well. And then remember that these are the three, you know, the five essential legal contracts in addition to the three legal pages that you will need, like the privacy policy, the disclaimer, the terms and conditions, which come in my starter legal bundle. But if you want those additional uh, contracts that we talked about, which you will need when you start hiring people, collaborating with companies and things like that, then either one of these bundles will work for you, the VIP or the premium. And also here are some more testimonials from my VIP legal bundle customers. You know, obviously these are very professional legal templates, simple fill in the blanks, meaning you don't have to sit there and figure out like spend hours and hours and try to figure out like how to use the template. Everything is kind of nicely highlighted for you. I tell you what to put, where to put, and then you just plug in your information and you're ready to use the template. And then we have a testimonial from McKinsey. Take a look at it. You know, the legal bundle saved her $1,000 because if she had met with a lawyer to get each one of these templates done individually, trust me, it will take thousands of dollars because as a lawyer, I, you know, my rate is $350 an hour. So I can only imagine other lawyers charging like $500 or more an hour and it can easily add up. So um, here's another Create and Go student um, who purchased the premium legal bundle, Emmett, and he feels so confident knowing that he says that you I feel confident knowing that you're a legit lawyer. And all I knew, all I know is that I need the templates no matter what. So Emmett got the premium legal bundle and he was also a Create and Go um, student just like you. 
And then we have another one, Chris. He's also a Crate and Go student, and he purchased my VIP legal bundle because he really appreciated the clauses specific to Canadian law. So when you purchase um, my legal templates, they work globally in and outside of the US. I've collaborated with other lawyers as well. And then for, Ca for Canada specifically, we've also included a Canadian privacy policy clause into the into my privacy policy template so you can have um, the peace of mind knowing that you're complying with your um, Canadian laws as well and here's an example of uh, Chris who's purchased my VIP legal bundle and um, this is what he has to say about it okay so we already talked about what's included in the bundle and you get a lot you get massive massive value um, but you know just the VIP bundle alone is is crazy value but I'm not charging you anywhere close to that and, you, and take a look at some of those testimonials these are words from my VIP customers um, you know Chris um, Sue Chiho she um, is from Jap Japan and she's purchased my legal bundle she also set up a coaching call with me so take a look at these a lot of these names will ring a bell because they are your fellow create and go um, you know students so just like us and so I am not charging you anywhere close to this value. This is the massive value of the bundles. In fact, not even a quarter of that. And I'm giving you 10 times more value and legal protections. So you get it everything uh, instantly and you can start using the templates immediately in the next few minutes. And before you know it, you'll be done. So if all you did, as I mentioned, is use those five contracts on top of those three legal pages from my VIP legal bundle, so all together we're looking at five, six, seven, eight templates even out of the 16, trust me, you would agree with me that that's a tiny price to pay because it's almost insignificant compared to hiring a lawyer and paying five times more. And then here are some more VIP Legal Bundle customers, and I can't wait for you to be next. So we have Mariah, you know, she's purchased my VIP Legal Bundle. We have a Lisa, you know, it was the best purchase for her for 2020. Aysen, who's also like a fellow Create and Go student, um, he was blown away by the value in the VIP Legal Bundle. And then Shiho, another one from Japan. So in a nutshell, I just want to remind you that free legal templates are never enough to legally protect your blog. You need a GDPR and CCPA compliant privacy policy, a proper disclaimer, a terms and condition on your blog before you launch. So you cannot copy anyone else's legal content or stuff, otherwise you risk getting into copyright infringement legal issue. And then when you're working with others in your blogging business, you need to have proper legal contracts in place to protect you because lawsuits come in all shapes and sizes. Um, you don't have to be a big shot to get into legal trouble and end up in court. I, I'm, I know tons and tons of um, you know, entrepreneurs who've gotten into trouble and they were just a small fish, including my own dad. So um, if you watch the video right here on the sales page, you will learn some more about how the templates look on the inside and some more about the bonuses that I walked through in detail. But if you just um, looked at this, you will see on the sales page that you, it, the templates also come with my Facebook support group. You get free lifetime updates. Um, you can use them on multiple websites of your own. Uh, super duper affordable, comprehensive, and, and trust me, you will have the peace of mind just like I have hundreds and hundreds of um, you know five-star reviews right here on my Facebook page, as you can see. And um, take a look at them, and I would love for you to uh, be legally compliant uh, within the next 15 minutes or so. So remember in the end that legal is the glue that holds your business together. So I can't wait for you to use my legal templates to legally protect your blog, just like thousands of other smart bloggers that I've helped in the Create and Go community. And here are some more examples for you. And then I also wanna uh, point your attention to some helpful resources. So I've listed some uh, important pages that you may want to click on to learn more such as um, the blog post about three legal pages, the 16 DIY legal templates, 50 bloggers revealing why free legal templates are not enough, five-star reviews, for some freebies for you, legal store page, tips page, blogging recommendations, some of the tools that have helped me a lot in my blogging journey, Facebook support group, if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one. and then also you will earn your investment back tenfold if you just uh, purchase the bundle and you join the affiliate program. because and it's uh, right here, this could be you. 
So if you look at it, that's how much I paid in affiliate commissions, thousands of customers just like you. So I don't take the trust that you place in me lightly. This is like the easiest and the quickest way that for you to earn your investment back by joining the affiliate program, recommending them. And if you look at, um, this is exactly what Heather did. This is exactly what Kaylee did. And so many of my other cust thousands of my customers and th they're earning 10 times 20 times more than what they spent on these legal templates so keep that in mind when you're getting ready and then just click here um, to get your legal pages and your legal documents and i can't wait to welcome you as my customer if you have any questions feel free to reach out thank you